to uh, Nigeria again. We want to try and look at uh, what really will determine Nigeria's upcoming election. February 14th, will it be regional blocks or religion? When President Goodluck Jonathan won Nigeria's presidency in 2011, much of his support came from the southern Niger Delta region, which is where he's from, and also from communities across the nation that share his Christian faith. This month's presidential election once again pits Jonathan against his challenger from 2011, former military ruler Muhammadu Buhari. The outcome is far from certain. Whoever wins will be tasked with ending the ongoing Boko Haram insurgency in the Northeast, managing what last year became Africa's largest economy, and mitigating the corruption that has held back the country's development. For some voters like Oloko Akpaka, that's the most important issue. If corruption is tackled and solved, most of Nigerian problems will reduce, including most of the domestic problems and probably insurgents. But religion and ethnicity, rather than competence, will be on the minds of voters when they go to cast their ballot, says academic Abubakar Kerry. But certainly ethnicity, regionalism and religion are going to be very, very prominent uh, factors uh, in the elections. Uh, if, if any designing uh, analyst, uh, an honest one, uh, should be able to admit, uh, okay, that the two leading candidates, uh, President Jonathan and uh, General Muhammad Buhari, are likely going to perform very well uh, in, 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 in their immediate homeland. The reason for that is the long history of power being doled out by politicians to people who they share commonalities with, like ethnicity or religion, says political commentator Chris Nguodo. What you have is a situation where identity is the access key to social and economic opportunities. So it matters in a psychological and in, uh, in a material sense when someone looks to the presidency and sees someone of his faith or someone of his ethnicity there. And so in the context of elections, when people try to mobilize, um, politicians try to mobilize followership along the lines of identity, along the lines of ethnicity and religion, it's really best seen as a form of populism. Mr. Buhari is expected to win most of the votes in the North, which is where he is from, and draw strong support from Muslim communities across the country. But Nguodo says the real key to winning is building a coalition that cuts across the disparate ethnic groups, regions, and religions of Nigeria's 36 states. Whoever does that best typically becomes president. Chris Stein for VOA News, Abuja.